Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead guys. Today I am out here, um, not in the garden, <laughs> not in the garden guys, but um, I am actually up here by the chicken coops. Let me just give you all a quick little shot of that garden while I'm up here. Not really much going on right now, but um, yes, there is still quite a bit of work going on in the garden guys but we're not here to talk about garden today okay now um it's been quite a while now since i have been working on or actually been trying to get um some new animals added to the homestead guys and so today is going to be that day that i am actually going to go ahead and bring some new animals in i guess i'll just go ahead and tell you all what that animal is going to be okay but before i do so stick around but we're going to go ahead and talk now about um this particular uh coop right here guys now of course y'all know i have been working on this coop right here for a very very long time and I did kind of got a little bit of time to come on up here and did a little bit of uh, work on it, but not so much um, the exterior, you know, putting up the sidewalls and different stuff like that. What I have been working on is this um, little coop right here on the inside of the coop itself, guys. Now, long, long time ago, well, not really too long ago. I used to actually raise pigeons, guys. Yes, I used to raise pigeons, uh, preferably um, homing pigeons. And what I used to do, I used to raise those birds, um, pretty much breed them. I did do a little bit of flying um, as well, you know, training those birds and everything else like that, guys. Um, but I used to pretty much um, be a breeder for people that uh, raise, raise pigeons or people that want pigeon as a hobby and so i used to have like different colors um, of homing pigeons i used to have some fantail pigeons um magpie pigeons um different you know different little few breeds of pigeons that i used to have now i used to have a big big loft um way bigger than this right here guys that i used to raise my pigeons in um especially those different exotic colors colors of home and pigeons guys now I told my wife the other day you know what um, not that I was really trying to get back into any pigeons or anything like that but um, I told my wife I said hey you know what I may get a pair or so uh, just for my son just to teach him a little bit of more responsibility here on the homestead guys um, but what we are actually going to be getting actually today I am heading out today to pick up um, some birds we are going to be getting quail here on the homestead guys and i am going to be heading out today to pick them up and i just wanted to drop on in real quick just to kind of show you all uh the setup that i have for these quails right here um now one of the thing is yes i do know that um this particular housing for the quail may be a little bit too high but I think those birds, once they get acclimated, they should do just fine in here, guys. Because I know that quail, at times, they like to jump and sometimes break their neck and stuff like that or knock themselves out. But, you know, I think they're going to do just fine for this. Not only that, I'm going to be using this right here for quail. But if I do get pigeons or so, I can still uh, use this right here for pigeons because this is how I had my setup at my old property. Even if I want to come on in and also get maybe um, uh, some baby chicks. If I get baby chicks and I want to use this as a brooder for them, I absolutely can do, do that, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, not definitely not the first time uh, at the rodeo. And so that is why I, I construct these coop like I did right here with putting an extra additional coop on the inside of a coop because you think about it you you're saving um you're saving space and also uh you don't have to 
pretty much build something standalone on the outside it is pretty much all set up on the inside in here okay so i'm going to show you how i have it constructed um if y'all see it is right at about uh, i want to say about four and a half feet off the ground okay um, i have that um, hardware cloth on the bottom and so what happened when those when once those quail or baby chicks or whatever it is that i'm going to be putting in here they will poop and it will drop right down on the ground guys okay um so i had to actually come on in and, and do this real quick putting it together um it took me a little while because <laughs> the guy said that i was going to get the quail from hey you know no rush you can you know take your time and so because i was so busy out there in the garden guys i actually did kind of took my time getting it done but i just called a guy today and he said hey come on and get them you know i'm available you can come and get those quail so that is what we're going to be doing um later on down i'm also going to come on in and put another addition over here on this side of uh the chicken coop okay simple reason why i did kind of promise my sons my son and daughters that i was going to um someone promised us some rabbits and i did want to go ahead and you know get them some rabbits guys really truly um what i really like to do here on this homestead is whatever it is that i'm bringing on it must serve a purpose okay it must serve a purpose um i don't want it to be something that i'm going to be spending a whole lot of energy on and uh say nothing in return okay but i did promise them that i would get them some rabbits or someone promised me some rabbits and i'm going to also build that side over there uh, maybe a couple of little hutch for those rabbits so they can have something to come and look forward to throughout the day something they can pet on you know because at the end of the day it is not all just about me okay i have to think and put them um in consideration as well something that they want or like a rabbit you know even though sometimes uh liking and loving something that 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 time runs out at times and so i still want to just go ahead and get them some so they can be uh responsible okay but so stay tuned guys i don't want to make this video too long stay tuned i'm actually about to hit the road right now and go pick up those quails and We'll catch you back here when I get back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. And so we are back here on the homestead. I uh, just went to meet the guy a while ago um, with the quail. And so we got probably right, I want to say right at about 13 quails. So he gave us 13 quails and a whole carton <laughs> full of eggs, guys. So um, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is crank up my incubator and pretty much get them situated. Okay. But what I want to go ahead and do as well, I'm going to go ahead and put this down because I think I am going to need both my hands to, to do this so y'all can probably see a little bit better okay guys and so here i am back at the homestead with the quails all right so what i am about to do now is just take them out of their little crate um, this is a crate that a gentleman uh gave to me with the quails now uh these little fellas they are pretty pretty swift guys and so i'm just going to have to make sure i'm real careful with them because even while i was handling them um at the place there was um a lot of feathers was coming out of them and so i don't want them to be uh to we call it back on picky picky we don't want that all right
going to seal the crate and the crate will fit on the inside. Whoa. We're just going to do that one like that there. Just put it in and just like that. So we got one that don't want to come out the, out the box. Okay guys, and that was, yeah, that was fun getting them out. And we did kind of lost a bit of feather on them. But um, we have some more here inside of another dog crate. And we're going to see how fun it is to get them out of here. All right, now let the fun begin. down like that. Okay guys, and so that right there is it. That is it. And so we just got the quails out guys, and here they are. Okay, that's the quails right there. Now they did lost quite a bit of feathers. And what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and bring in some uh, food for them and also some water okay and hey that is it right there look at that did you hear that now that right there is a male um, from what the guy told me the males are the one with the white on top of uh, the white on the head and the females are the ones with the brown Okay, so the one with the white is the female, and the one with the brown are the males, guys. All right, so um, so far it looks like I have right at about four males and the rest females. All right, so y'all just go ahead and stay tuned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get them uh, feed up and, hey, get them, get them acquainted to their new home. Okay, I just want to say, guys, thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. New addition on the homestead, guys. 
quails. All right. So as time goes on, we will let you all know um, what is going on and how they are doing. Okay. So just stay tuned. And what I'm going to do right now is get those eggs in the incubator and get them. Um, hey, maybe had some more quail here on the homestead as well. All right. Have a blessed day, guys.